Hello, I'm Drake. Welcome to Working Dragon Mystic, where we teach real, metaphysical, and occult knowledge so that you can manifest real and tangible change in your life. Today we're going to be talking about a spell to quickly help you manifest money, so stay tuned. Okay, today we're going to be talking about a spell um, that I've been getting a lot of requests about since I did my prosperity spell. Um, a lot of you love the prosperity spell, but you comment that it is a long-term slow spell, and you all are wanting a fast money spell, something where you can generate money quickly. So, I thought it'd be fun to actually go ahead and show you a spell that I put together um, when I was traveling at a hotel room. Now, I don't know about you all, but I actually love the concept of what I call jury-rigged magic, where you have to put a spell or a ritual together with whatever you can cobble together, whether it be from a convenience store or a hotel room or whatnot. And that's exactly what I had to do with this particular spell. Now, I'm only sharing this spell because it worked so well, and I've done it six times and five out of the six times it manifested quickly within 48 hours. So I think that meets the criteria of what you all have given me. At least that's quickly in my mind and no one gave me a tighter time than that. And honestly, if you have a tighter timetable than that, I'm not sure I have a spell for you. So that said, I'm gonna go over the original spell, how I put it together, what I did, and I'm also going to go ahead and go over what I did to improve upon it the additional five times that I did it. Okay, so what did we actually do for this spell? Well, at the time, I was in a hotel room, so and I didn't have my kit with me, so I was very, very limited. Now, in most hotel rooms anymore, you can find stationery of some kind with a pen. So, sigil magic was definitely something I wanted to use, and I, I did. So, I put together a sigil and <laughs> honestly the terminology that i needed and used for the sigil was money now and every time i've done the spell i i use a different sigil but i still use that same phrase money now so i'll give you a better look of it there we go that's actually the sigil i've made this time now it looks sloppy and honestly I like my sigils when I use this style to look sloppy because if I can look down at it and my eyes can pick out the individual letters because I've made it neat then that just kind of kills it for me so I tend to go with a sloppier looking sigil that really eliminates the letters for me that's just my personal preference and if you have questions on sigil magic I'll go ahead and link up the sigil magic video we did for an introduction to sigil magic now once I had my sigil on the stationery um, I did trim it down to in a slightly smaller piece of paper and I actually dug around and I found any candle I could um, I was able to find tea lights at a dollar store someplace so today we're going to be using a tea light candle. I wasn't able to find a colored candle back at that time. And honestly, I've not used a colored candle any of the times I've done this spell. But you could definitely, if you could get a hold of a green candle, you could do it. Now, since I did only have a tea light, I actually ended up actually putting um, some markings on the bottom. More specifically, I put dollar signs on the bottom with a pen. Now, if you have a Sharpie, it'll be far easier. Um, at that particular time, all I had was a pen, so I had to keep scratching it in, but I did get it. Now, I wanted the spell to work quickly, and when I'm wanting magic to happen fast, usually I want something to ramp up its power, and I turn to dragon's blood. Well, in the hotel room, I didn't have it, so I had to think outside the box. Every hotel room I stay in always has a coffee maker, whether it has just the little pouches of coffee or now they're turning over to the pod style coffees. 
Um, and coffee has the ability, one of its properties is to make things happen quickly. So I went with coffee. So in the spirit of that, I actually have here a coffee pod. And I actually wanted it to be used, so it is used, the coffee and it's damp. Um, you can use dry coffee, but I actually prefer it to be damp for this spell. It's, you'll see why. So, at the bare bones that night in the hotel, I put the candle on the sigil. I put a little bit of coffee on top of the candle. And then when I lit the candle, I stared into the flame, and that's where I would do my visualization. And I would hold my hands on either side of it as I visualized. And the visualization I had locked in my head was me holding my wallet open and my wallet was full. And I liked that visualization because it's specific enough that my wallet's full, which is what I was needing, but it's vague enough that it wasn't going to slow the magic down or make it harder to manifest. And that's all I did for that spell. And I spent maybe five to ten minutes with the visualization and then I let the spell finish and the candle burn out. Now, what I have done since then to improve upon it is right here I have some dragon's blood resin that's already been ground up. Um, and if you can't get the resin, you can actually use just the incense. It's not the same exactly, but it will work. And I would sprinkle this on top of the candle after I did the coffee. So I'm adding that extra power to it that we mentioned earlier, but at the same time, I still have the coffee there to ramp it up. So if you're not in a pinch and you can get this, please do. It really, really helps the spell. But like I said, you can keep it as bare bones as I did in the hotel that night, um, which is exactly what we're going to do here. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the camera down to my work area here, and I'm going to put this together because I've had people say that they would like to see more specifically how I'm putting it together. Okay, so to assemble the spell, get you something to put the spell, um, the candle and everything on as you burn it. If you're in a hotel room, you're probably going to have to use a paper plate or something like that. Just do figure out what you can get a hold of. Next, you'll need your sigil. Again, I got my sigil here that we put together earlier. And set that on your surface. Now, on my tea light... I kept it very simple and I just put a dollar sign in the bottom of it. If you have another sigil, um, you could even actually engrave this sigil on there. But I literally just stuck with something simple and easy. I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up with the glare of the lights. There we go. And like I said, set that on there. Then tear into your coffee pod. This is where it's going to get a little messy. And this is another reason I like having the plate or something under it. And just sprinkle just a little coffee on there. You don't have to be neat about it. We're going for function, not um, style here. Now at this point, if you did have your dragon's blood... You can go ahead and sprinkle that on the surface too. Once you got that put together, just go ahead and quickly light your candle. Now I have had friends who have actually done this with birthday candles. They use the wet coffee to roll the candle in and they've had wonderful success with that. I've not personally used a birthday candle yet, but hey, everything's worth a try once in a while. Then take your hands on either side and start focusing on your visualization. In this case, I'm actually focusing on winning um, at poker tonight and gaining my money quickly in that manner. But that's because I do have a specific poker game. Which you can definitely adjust the spell for a specific reason and turn it into a fast money gambling spell. Or you can just leave it a fast money spell like I did the first night and focus on having your wallet full. 
Again, keep your visualization as vague but targeted as you can. That helps to aid in the manifestation here. And maintain that visualization for five to ten minutes. And then all you have to do is let the candle continue burning until it goes out. There you go. It's really that simple. Um, I've not actually tried to shoot a shot of my workspace like that before, so definitely in the comments let me know if you'd like to see more videos like that. I've had a few requests to try it. Um, so I figured I'd take a stab at it. Let me know how it went. Um, now, I know this seems far too simple, and a lot of people who are first coming to magic might think it can't be that simple. There's got to be more to it. Honestly, magic is simple. It takes discipline, it takes willpower, and it takes focus. But you can do magic without any of the material components um, if you want to. But the material components do help to focus your um, intent and your will and actually allows you to focus on something so you can maintain that focus longer. Also, the energy that goes into putting this together also holds that energy into the items. So the whole time that that candle's burning, that energy's ramping up and being cast out constantly. Um, this tea light may burn for 30 minutes to an hour and it's intent and everything set exactly how I did. So that whole time's like me doing the focus for a full hour. And this is one of the reasons that candle spells and everything are so effective. Now, I will state again, I do find long-term prosperity to be a far better option. You get far better results. It gives it far more avenues to manifest in your life. But, I also am aware that there are times when you're in a hurry and in a rush. I've been there myself. So, y'all have been requesting it. Here it is. And this one is one that I have gotten extremely great results out of in my personal practice. And all my friends who have used it have also reported great results. So go ahead, give this spell a try. I hope it works for you as well, if not better than it did me and all my friends. Be sure to like the video. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you'll get notifications anytime we release a new video. We're constantly trying to get more information out to everyone. We're also now doing a podcast over on Twitch called The Magical Coffee Hour. Um, that's every Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll make sure to leave a link below for y'all. Thank you for joining us. I'm Drake. This has been Working Dragon Mystic. I'll see you next time. Take care.